Let me start with a quote. I think this is um, what was said by the Dalai Lama after sitting for a number of minutes in front of a large um, crowd. He just simply said, happy? We are, the short name for us is Hastings for Happiness. You could call us by the long name, which is Hastings and St Leonard's Action for Happiness. We're linked to the national organisation, Action for Happiness, as a local group. Um, so, actionforhappiness.org website. Our local website, there's a briefer version than this, the same way to get to the same website. So you can either put in actionforhastingshappiness.blogspot.com or, might be easier to remember, agoodweek.info because we have recently just had a good week. So what we have here on the ground are three circles. And the question that I'm going to put to one and all is what floats your happiness boat the most? I think that some people approach the way I see it, some people approach happiness through bodies and mental processes. So is it... Um, oh, sorry, let's change, let's change that slightly. Care for your body and your mental processes. Is that what floats your boat the most? Caring for your body and your mental processes? Is it your economic well-being and political power and freedom? For example, by rebuilding the local economy. A film about this is The Economics of Happiness, about localism rather than globalism. Maybe there's something else that floats your happiness boat. And what I'm going to suggest this is, is your spiritual beliefs about generating contentment, happiness, generosity and wisdom. So, we have, in all, body, uh, mental processes, um, well, they could call that people, place, planet and spirit as um, the various elements of happiness and obviously they're in combination so um, it may be that you're in group number four whereby you're interested in body mental processes and spiritual or you're a number five body mental processes economics and politics or a number six where it's economics politics and spiritual beliefs that you particularly um, um, f hone in on in order to float your happiness boat, or this is how you feel happy by being involved in developing these things. Luckily for me, I'm interested in position number seven, I'm interested in all three, and how we bring people who come from these different areas of um, body, mental processes, economics, politics, spiritual beliefs, how we bring everyone together um, to work together on a happier Hastings. That's uh, what this film is about, and the following film, and that's what I hope uh, will encourage you to come to a Happiness 101 session put on by Hastings for Happiness, and you can either book in um, at one of our tents at a festival, or you can go online at agoodweek.info and book to come on a Happiness 101 session, where you won't just hear my view on happiness, which is kind of partly represented by this, you'll hear the views of two other people from the group, and it'll be an opportunity for everyone to see where they stand in relation to happiness and how we can work together to create more well-being in the local area. Just a little bit of the start-up. Action for Happiness, uh, more or less, one of the major founders is a, is a man called Richard Layard. And he's written books, obviously, as you can see here, on happiness. His viewpoint, and it comes from, he's an economist. And he found that in his working and in his dealings, that although society, especially our society, have got considerably more welfare, um, in terms of disposable income, etc., and goods that we have, certainly consumable goods, 
the happiness factor has not gone up at all. Uh, for 50 years they found that the happiness rating hasn't gone up. So it's obvious that there isn't a spectacular relationship between getting more things and getting happier. I'm going to take another one because I'm very bad at taking pictures. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> See my friends more, say hello, oh, and goodbye, that will work. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> so the headline is, Group is aiming to get tastings smiling again. Right, well, um, of course our group is about a lot more than that. But as far as a sort of fairly upbeat, eye-catching uh, headline... Okay, that's fine. Oh, and the next word is the one I've just used. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I've just seen it myself. An upbeat community group is on a mission to turn the town's frowns upside down. Okay, he's done some work. He has it no. very slowly. <laughs> the Action for Happiness organisation, based at the Southwater Centre, Stainsby Street... That's a lovely hot chocolate. Stainsby mm. Street, Lennart's... Leonard's, St. Leonard's, uh, is determined to make Hastings a happier place to live and is halfway through its Good Week scheme. Um, okay, good start. I would quibble a little bit with the word determined because that has a little bit of a, um, a flavour of pushing, whereas we very much want to invite and welcome rather than, than, than push. But yes, we are, are very committed to this. Uh, this has included talks, workshops and complimentary health sessions and uh, well done for spelling complimentary in the correct way. Oh, that I is that. very often incorrectly spelt. Mm -hmm. um, and scene members handing out happiness hints to commuters at St. Leonard's Warrior Square train station. Paul Crossland. Uh, oh. That is the chap in the photograph Who's here. He? This is Paul. Oh dear. East. Apologies to the viewer for how dark this is, but uh, uh, oh. oh, let's come out into the sunshine. <laughs> wow, now how bright it <laughs> is. Better. It's beautifully coloured. <laughs> so let's go once more through. Ha, ah, I'm going to test you. What was Mondays? Mondays was Connect. Tuesdays? Tuesdays was um, blue, that was be active. Oh, you remember it by the colour? Yes. Wednesdays was? was? Wednesdays was green and that was take notice. Thursdays? Because I particularly associate green with taking notice and Gee. nature and so on. Okay. Thursdays was orange. Which means? And that was about keep learning new things. What did we particularly offer on Thursday in terms of learning new things? Well, we were talking about all the talks and discussions that we are offering free of charge at the Southwater Centre. Mm -hmm. so not to be confused with the Seaview Centre on Southwater Road. With the the Southwater Sea Area Centre. Community Centre is the pink building by St. Leonard's Warrior <laughs> Square. And the talks yes. in particular, there was something in particular. Yesterday we were offering a talk on um, reducing levels of stress. How did that go for you? Well, it would have been lovely to have had more people, but we had enough to, to run the Great. session, yep. and I hope that people went away thinking that they had um, learnt some new techniques on how to reduce their levels hmm. of stress. It's something that people have been talking about, especially commuters, as they sort of rush for their train, and they're very conscious of the fact that their life is a bit fast, perhaps. Mm. So some techniques to help them slow things down. OK, back to the article. So we have got to hear Paul Crossland, who heads the group... Set. No, I didn't say that in any way, in, uh, anyhow. Right, so it has been put in inverted commas, but it is not... Oh, no, 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 it's not, not the quote. I didn't say that I headed the group. Oh, I see. Right. I said I was one of the founders, but you right. suggested, or someone else suggested, that I do write that I am the founder. But right. anyhow, I, I set up the website for a start, yes. and a group formed around a meeting date. I had rented a building. A, a group formed around a meeting date that I advertised on the National Action for Happiness dot org website so yeah okay i'll say i had the group then yes if they, uh, if they we, tell me that i had the group we would, and i we believe would it, be, it in we the paper. would be happy with that <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in inverted commas we are concerned that a lot of people ourselves included lose track of what is important in life 
and do not get information about how to stay on an even keel in the turbulence of modern society. Despite all the technology and resources we have, society is less happy than it was. End of quote. The Action for Happiness program is based on scientific studies which have identified five key factors that can boost people's happiness. Connecting with other people, being active and healthy, learning new skills, giving to others, and taking note of the good things in their lives. What do you think? Absolutely, that's a I think that's very, well very, very good paragraph and is succinct um, and really summarises um, what we have been focusing on each day, one of these we've been focusing on. Yes, I'm, I mean, I'm re so, so pleased that that paragraph, paragraph is there quite high up and yes. we didn't have to go to the cost. Um, you know, I only spent £900 on getting hold of some cards um, about the five ways to well-being and without getting those cards to the whole community we've got a good paragraph that talks about the same things and that hasn't so that's yes. worked to me that's if people take that in that's worth many hundreds of pounds of publicity money um, yes. which yes. we haven't got and which we want so thank you Hastings Observer for sharing those key five messages in a very clear succinct way Yes, very much so. And also a, a thank you to Paul. He says only uh, £900 on cards, but this is one example of his uh, enormous generosity and, and giving. To move, move to on. the next paragraph, <laughs> these tips have been shared with train passengers every morning this week, and Mr Crossland found the range of responses quite revealing. He said, in inverted commas, some people have said it is wonderful and just what Hastings and St Leonard's needs to lift its mood. But we have had the occasional person tell us they are not interested in happiness. Some people approach happiness from a body and mind point of view. Some think it is about changing things politically and economically. And some have a spiritual way in. But we want to bring all of these groups together. I love that paragraph. I uh, think that shows the width of what we're about. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The Good Week events continue today, Friday, and tomorrow with film <laughs> screenings, stress busting what do you sessions. Think of stress busting? I like <laughs> it's it's what works for the public, I think, is a phrase. Yes. I like that. Yes, I'm mm. not so keen on it, but yes. um, one can damage things by using language which is perhaps over complicated mm. and it's, it's a phrase that everybody understands yep. that's fine stress busting sessions and talks on the group's aims but long term mr crossland hopes they can build on this week's achievements they're offering happiness 101 sessions in residence homes and I they want that. that's to, nice and clear yeah they want to reach out to professions that work with the public on a regular basis, like taxi drivers and hairdressers. Yes, nice and clear. Uh, in quotations again, when those in frequent, sustained contact with members of the public have more knowledge of how people can be happier and talk about it, we believe that well-being will spread quicker, Mr Crossland said. Visit Action for Happiness, Hastings. Beg your pardon, visit actionforhastingshappiness.blogspot.com for more information about the scheme. And please do that. There's masses of um, information, lots of interesting video footage, including for me as apparently the week's celebrity. celebrity. Sorry, <laughs> I thought you are, whether I've, you like it or not, and there's have nothing trivial about it. Not been able to uh, speak without being filmed. Uh, <laughs> Slight exaggeration <laughs> of the truth, but uh, who? <laughs> okay. Any closing closing statements? Uh, the photograph here um, showing us nearly all of us smiling and uh, with the caption "The Action for Happiness" group. So thank you very much to the journalist Rob Alderson, mm, um, job, who's Rob. done I'm a, really a with that. I'd very love nice to work with you article. Again because it's, uh, we have experience of um, when we make quotations and there's misquotation, which is, is difficult, and 
Uh, so we're very pleased with this article. Yes. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Thanks again to the Hastings Observer. Hi, I've just met Alan. And uh, what have you seen and what have you done? What have I seen and done? Well, I photo, a nice photo shoot, you met nice people, and hope to see you very, very soon. And what will we be talking about next time then, Alan? We're talking about the community and trying to share things and trying to get involved with people and, and elderly people and trying to get involved with things that you do here. Excellent. Look forward to that conversation next no time. Cheers. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Uh, Street, Street Bank. Bank. Did you read the, the yes, card yes, then? Yes, so yes, what yes. did you think of Street Bank? In fact, Bank? I even went to your website and I think that was an excellent idea. It was like uh, a social cause with a purpose. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of things like waste mm -hmm. in my house, which nobody uses. And if we could all get around sharing it. Wonderful. It could be like so much environment friendly and that's a cause that's close to my heart. So, that's so you registered on the site, did yes, you? Yes, I did register on the Go site. Go on, tell us what you shared. And uh, what did I put there? I put... I initially put some CD for Hindi music. Oh, wonderful. So that's what I did. Yeah. So I, I will come and borrow that because I, I was watching a film of world music last right, night. Okay. We yeah. were putting it on at Southwater Centre. Right. It's called One Giant Leap. Uh, what about me? And th there was a 12-year-old Rajasthani guy with a lovely backing group. And it's the right. it was the best music on the whole of the film. So if you've got some good Hindi, Hindi music. Yes, and these are Hindi Bollywood film music. And yeah. I, I don't think there's any in there yet. Mm -hmm. So it'll be easy to track me there. So. Definitely. Yeah. I'm going to borrow that from <laughs> you, Saji. A pleasure. But the, the, the thrust of the book is, is that uh, inequality is the cause of, of unhappiness and, and all the, the stresses right. within society. And if we had a more equal society, or societies which are more equal... I think I've got this book. I lent it to a friend, Chris, about... It's called something like More Equal Society, or uh, Equality and... It well, but it's yeah, got so, quality so in the title. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, uh, we could look it up. Yeah. Pickett would be spelled with a double T, would it? That's right, yeah. yeah. And um, they More equal are connected yeah. with the... They, mm. sort of, they set up something, or it's connected with something called the Equality yeah. Trust. <laughs> did you have a good session, Marcus? Yeah, good. What was it you did, you went to? Yeah. And what did it do for you? Yeah. Loudly? Yeah. Loudly? Yeah. It knocked you out, but that was a good session. That. You don't have to answer that. Don't you, don't, answer you don't have to answer that. You don't be incriminating. <laughs> 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 um, sorry for the brief. I just want to show that lots is happening here yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Martin, do, do carry on. So, what's the effect that for, for, um, on you of what Kate's written? You, you, you liked her approach about more yeah, equal yeah, society uh, as, a, as a way to go? Yeah, it seems to be the way forward. I mean, it chimes with a lot of other agendas the mm. green agenda, the sustainable agenda, the transition town agenda, the whole. I want to have a conversation with you if you're if you're into the transition town agenda. Because yes. I certainly am. Yeah, yeah. and want to see yeah. where it's going at present. Yeah. So Charles is here. Charles. Um, and um, next appointment, please. Charles, you ready for zero balancing? As ready as he'll ever be. So. What did you just say it was like today? Oh, I reckon that it's. I feel like it's um, all of my birthdays rolled into one. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and Christmas has come early. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Anyway, here we go then, and the winner is Whoa. Paula Charlesworth. Why don't we ring her straight up and tell her? We could even do that live, and if it's embarrassing, then we could cut that. Let me give you my telephone. Okay. Are you familiar with this one? If you'd like to just ring her straight away. We're not going to read the number out on the, on YouTube. That's what we're not going to do. No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> the suspense. <laughs> and then is it green? That's it. It's now ringing. This was the last card we handed out in a week of well-being cards. This is the gift card. Yeah, I'll give you a set of well-being cards. It's Paula answering. Oh, hello. Is that Paula? Oh, this is Councillor Kim Forward here, Paula. I'm the, the mayor. mayor of Hastings. <laughs> I've just drawn your card out as the winner of the um, Amazon, of the Kindle, Amazon Kindle, Kindle. Um, as part of the Hastings for Happiness Week at the Southwater Centre. <laughs> <laughs> Just, she said, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're very 